since I'm currently live. So I'm super excited. Um, here's the box. I took the label off and covered up addresses and everything because I didn't want I didn't want anybody to like see all these addresses. But um, so the whole the story behind this is um, Matthew and I have kind of done each other for a year ish. Um, I want to say something like that. He when he got into corn snakes, um, we talked off and on Facebook, and um, he we mentioned both of us mentioned that we like Pokemon cards and video games, and he I think kind of jokingly asked like, uh, if I trade you Pokemon cards for a snake, like will you go for that? And I was like, sure, sure, I'll I'll take Pokemon cards for a snake. So he got a new snake, and I got a box of Pokemon cards that I'm really excited about. It was not a joke. Well, whether it's a joke or not, I took it seriously. Because I wanted them. I promise I'll get this box open sometime today. I promise I will. You have to work in an hour. Well, I'm only going to be live for probably less than that long. Okay, jeez, Matthew. This is some good tape you got, man. I am still... I am still working it apart. Still working it apart. Okay, I think that I actually have it to the point where I can open, open the box. Okay, perfect. There they are. Now these, I'm very excited about. I've never had these before. Um, I can't remember, I think they said, what did he say? It was the 25th anniversary? No, 30th anniversary? I can't remember what, which card cards these are, but I knew that I didn't have them, and so I wanted them. Uh, so my whole thing with these is I always wanna keep at least one. Um, to just save for later. So I'm going to open five of the six. Um, and I think I'm gonna keep one of the Pikachus unopened. And we can open the other Pikachus, the Charizards, and the Venusaur. So, all right. One, two, or three. Which one should we not open? One, two, or three. 20th anniversary. If nobody answers, we're gonna do two for 20th anniversary. Two? We're gonna do two anyway, it looks like. Okay, so two is not going to be opened. Two is gonna be saved, saved from being opened. And hopefully that was not the one that had the rarest card in it. Like we're just gonna we're just gonna say that. I'm gonna start by opening a pack though. We have two Charizards and two Pikachus. So do we want Charizard or Pikachu first? Charizard, open Charizard. Okay, we'll open Charizard, especially since you sent us, or you sent me these cards. I will, I will open the pack that you suggest. Man, it's been a long time. It's been a long time since I opened a Pokemon card pack. Okay, hold on. Is there a card trick with these? Let me see. It, it used to be four to the front, but I think maybe it's three to the front now. All right, I don't know. We're gonna start here. Charmeleon, is that just any Charmeleon? It is. Um, I don't know what that is. Ephedosa, whatever. Clefable. I always like Clefable. Meowth. Slowpoke. So that actually looks like one of the older cards. I guess that's probably what these are because they're the 20th anniversary cards. Some of them are a throwback to like old designs. Tangela, also known as Tangelly in some circles. Uh, Rhyhorn. Ooh, our Gyarados, look at that. Nice, and... Did it! Did it super cute, although I think he's kind of uh, pointless. Um, oh, there's one more, oh shoot! We got three, three hollows. Look at that Jolteon, man. That's awesome, I'm so excited about that. Okay, oh man, I forgot to get cases out. I'll just, I'll just be very careful with them until I can find cases. I was not prepared for this for some reason. It's been a long time since I opened Pokemon cards. It's always the packs you don't, yes, it's always the packs you don't open that have the good ones. I'm gonna go ahead and open another pack. I also have some other cool things that that we might open if we had time, and that is this. I got one of the new Pokemon Go boxes, and I thought I would see, so if we if we have time uh, after the main part of the stream, I'll, I'll also open a Pokemon Go one, because I'm really excited about those. Kind of fuller, hollow, reverse hollow, rare. And the rare was a hollow. Yeah, hold on. So I have a reverse hollow rare with the Gyarados. Hollow rare, or no, this is not rare. It's just hollow. It's uncommon to Denny. And then the full art, I'm assuming rare, uh, Jolteon EX. 
And I, I know that I own cases. I bought a bunch of cases, but I forget where I put them. So I'm just gonna have to just like be careful. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open a Pikachu because I like things to be even. And we have another Pikachu after this. Get Pikachu going. It's so weird to open packs. I haven't opened packs. I mean, I have opened packs since I was a kid, but every time that I open packs, I feel like a kid again. I'm so, yeah, it's just, it is what it is. Okay, I think it's three to the front on these. If I was getting those right, I think so. All right, so we're starting with a trainer card. Uh, I don't know what that is. Flower crown. We have Machoke, which I'll be honest, any like very humanoid Pokemon kind of freak me out. So Machoke especially, because like Machop is little and tiny and he has a tail. And so he's not like really human-like. And then Machamp at least has like a really weird flat face and like another set of arms but Machoke just looks like a person with a weird skin color and so it kind of freaks me out I'll be honest anyway team flare grunts man it's been a long time since I saw any of these any grunts we got our psychic energy cute little diglet that is an adorable card that's so cute Pika cute Pikachu Zubat Ooh, Golbat uncommon reverse hollow what is this? Ooh, DNC. DNC reverse hollow. Awesome. It's also uncommon though. What do we have in the back? Oh, sweet. Nine tails. Nine tails four. Look at that. I love that art. Oh, I love that art so much. Nine tails has got to be one of my favorite Gen 1 Pokemon. Um, it's like, I would say it's probably in the top 10 uh, Gen 1 Pokemon, which is kind of saying a lot because I really don't like a lot of the Gen 1 Pokemon. So. Never got into Pokemon cards. I'm Canadian, so I'm guessing it's just hockey cards. I mean, yeah, like, I guess with Pokemon, for me, it's more of, like, a nostalgia, and I've always loved collecting things, but have always kind of been punished for collecting things. Like, my mom always threw out rock collections and stuff like that, and uh, so having, like, this Pokemon card collection kind of means a lot to me because I still have my old Pokemon card collection from when I was a little kid, uh, so it's kind of, like, I like holding on to it. Gen 2 is amazing. I like the Gen 2 games the best, for sure. Um, I I kind of wish they would redo Gen 2 for something on the Switch, because I just don't like playing the tiny handheld things. It makes my like hands cramp up, but otherwise. Gen 2, definitely a fave. I think that um, Crystal is probably my favorite Pokemon game ever. Okay, we'll open another pack. We have a Pikachu, a Charizard, and a Venusaur. So, do you want red, yellow, or green? Red, yellow, or green next. <laughs> letting your Machoke sleep in bed with you is cute, but letting the Machoke sleep in bed with you, not so much. Wait, what? Sleep in your bed with you is cute, but letting the Machoke sleep in bed with you. Oh, I meant Pikachu in bed. Yes, Pikachu in bed with you is cute. Machoke in bed, ooh. That's that's just weird. I just any kind of any kind of humanoid Pokemon just freaks me out, and I don't know why. I don't know why that is. Okay, so I have so far. You see a green. I think I think I saw. Okay, so Pikachu. So we have a Pikachu and a Venusaur. Um, all here. You know what? I think I can I put a poll in the chat. I think I can. Okay. So far, 100% of people have voted green, and green is on top, so I think we're just going to go ahead and go with green, um, and pull. We're going to go with Venusaur next. Um, here we go. Three votes. Yeah. So most people who vote, like everyone who voted, wanted green. So that works. I just love opening packs. That sound is just so... It's so great. It's just so nice. It's so, it's so nice. All right. Three from the back. I think. I, I hope. I don't know. We'll see. Charmander. Pokeball? Just Pokeball. Persian. I love Persian. I'm definitely a cat person, so Persian was definitely one of my favorite Gen 1 Pokemon. Geodude. Oh, nice. Metal Energy, I guess. Is that what that is? Or is it... Listen... I'm, I'm, I'm a millennial. I don't remember all this stuff. Whatever. Krabby. Caterpie. Ooh, okay, so our reverse holo here is Diglett. Common. 
Oh, we have an uncommon Floet. Very pretty, very shiny. And a Doug Trio. It's rare, it's not hollow, but that's fine. We like Doug Trio. Okay, uh, I'm going to do another poll for you guys. And again, feel free to ask snake questions. Hello to any new people who are watching, by the way. Feel free to ask questions. I'm going to put a quick poll in and then answer questions. So, um, Charizard pack or Pikachu pack. All right, so we're gonna do, here's our choices, Char and Pika. Feel free to vote. The poll looks like Pikachu won, so we're gonna go with Pikachu, and then our last pack will be a Charizard. Open this pack up. I don't wanna like pulling the cards. But I just love that sound and that feeling. It's just one of my favorite things. All right, three to the front. Oh, female Wubba Fett. I always, I was so glad that female Wubba Fett got lipstick. I don't, I just think that's so cute. That was such a cute idea. Uh, let's see, Olympia. I didn't play that game, whatever game that is. Oh, Max Revive. Another Meowth. By the way, any duplicates of cards will be for sale um, or given away, one of the two. So if anybody, like, like I know I have more than one Meowth, I will be selling and or giving away to people. We'll see. But if you're interested, uh, comment down below in the main video, uh, the main live, and we'll we'll see what we can do. Uh, all right. So we're going to keep going. That slow, that slow poke again. I love that art. I love that art so much. That was my favorite art style. Tangela, also known as Tangelly. Rhyhorn. Energy Switch. Very shiny. Reverse Hollow. Uncommon. Wow, look at that. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. I've never liked Flareon so much in my life. Look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh. Flareon X. I guess it's probably rare. And then, whatever that is, hit one chan. It's a rare, but it's not a hollow, which is fine. I love this Flareon card though. So cute. Look at the ribbons on the side. So let's see, you're pulling a lot of X's. I am, I know. I wonder if that's like a thing with, with these or if I'm just lucky, I don't know. Last thing we have is Charizard. No, I am just unlucky, he said. Those are the ones I did not open. <laughs> yeah, it ha I mean, I mean, I guess, I guess it is just luck of the draw. I don't know. That's why I wanted to see you open them. All right, last one of these, and then I think we'll have plenty of time, so I'll go through the Pokemon Go cards. Also, I also love Pokemon cards, and I wanted to open them on stream. So here you go. Anyway, last one for right now, Charizard, and then we will get into the Pokemon Go ones. There we go. I don't want to pull too hard on the cards. I love that sound. That's just my favorite sound. It's not my favorite sound, but it's up there. All right, three to the front. Whisper, little whisper. Is that Sudowoodo? No, Metapod. It was hard for me to see in the camera. Like All I saw was the tree. I thought it was Sudowoodo. Uh, Cloyster, a do duo, Tangela, also known as Tangelly, Ghastly. Uh, let's see, we got our Psychic Energy and our Reverse Hollow Clefairy. I think it's a common, yeah, it's a common. I do love Reverse Hollow, so. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, Evil Tall. I love Evil Tall, also known as Yavel Tall in some circles. I really love that card. Honestly, this is one of my favorite legendaries. I don't love a lot of the legendaries, but that one is one of my favorites. And behind it, we have Gyarados, again. Um, like I said, any time that I have a duplicate, that's going to be like for sale or given away. So if anybody cares about that, just let me know. Okay, so that was awesome. Thank you so much, Matthew. That was really fun. And um, I feel like I got my my snakes worth out of it. <laughs> Money's worth, snakes worth, whatever. Um, very like super cool, and I'm excited to add them to the collection. I also have my whole like book of childhood Pokemon cards, so we could just go through a page of that if you want to for nostalgia, because I'm slowly going through and like sorting them out. Um, but I want to open the Pokemon Go pack first um, because I'm just I'm just really excited. I didn't necessarily want Snorlax. 
but that was the only one that I could find where we went and I just was like I just want I just want one I just want like some and I may like keep one pack in here unopened we'll see what's in here I don't know break the seal I haven't really played Pokemon Go in a long time but I love the cards Tempted to buy a bunch of Pokemon Go packs. They are not sold by the pack. Yeah, that's part of the problem I had too, which is why I bought a case. Um, 20th anniversary packs were not sold by the pack either. Oh, I didn't realize that. You're right. All right, we're gonna open these. Very excited. Our little Snorlax there. And I love these tins. I love these tins so much. Okay, I am gonna be very careful with Snorlax, and I'm gonna set him, here, I'm gonna set him with my other hollows. We're gonna see what else in here. So we're starting out, we have stickers. We have a Pikachu, a Blissey, and our Snorlax, of course. Little stickers. Don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but those are super cute. Uh, we have, oh, Adventure Awaits in Pokemon Go. I don't know what this is. Um, learn more about Pokemon Go, guys. Oh no. Aw, this is cute. So right on top. Right on top is Pikachu with a cake or a gift. One of those little gifts. I thought it was a cake at first, but I realized it's one of those gifts. So cute. Oh my gosh. Which like I'm sure that everybody gets a Pikachu. Or do they? I have seen people open these boxes before, but haven't seen that. So maybe I just won the lottery or something. I don't know. But it is super cute. And it doesn't have the mark on the back, so it could be used competitively, which is interesting. Um, anyway, so here's our first pack. I think all the packs look the same. There's one, two, three, four packs. And I'm going to keep one pack unopened. So, we're going to ask in the chat, in a poll. Oops, I just dropped Pikachu. Alright, poll. One, two, three, or four. So, I'm going to go from one, two three, four. Which one should we not open? Which one should be the forever closed, never to be opened again, to sit on a shelf somewhere until someone goes, what's this crap doing here? <laughs> one got 50% of the votes, I see. And 50% was the majority. So this is one. One is going in a shelf, never to be opened. So, now we're gonna open these. It is really weird to like commit them to like never being seen, but it's, it is what it is. All right, we're gonna open this one. I don't know if these have the same as if it's three or four. And I think we also need to keep an eye out for dittos. I don't remember which ones can be dittos, but um, I think that there are like special ditto cards in it do we here you know what we're just gonna go regular as it was packed and then I can why would I do that I'll answer that in a minute <laughs> all right P dub I'm gonna hold it like this onyx Eevee little Charmander oh it does say apom I was I can't hardly read it backwards and I thought that this was the name and it looked like it just said oh 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 and I was like what does it make sense uh, Spark. Spark is our reverse hollow. Put him over here. Oh, we got another Pika. Pika hollow. Super cute. And we got this energy. And I don't, I just wanted to do this straight. So like, I don't know what order it's going to be in. We're going to kind of just do it out of order. Cool. Okay. So I think that these are four to the front then. Slap the stickers on a water bottle. That's a good idea. I need to find a water bottle that's like a permanent water bottle for me. Because I tend to like abuse my water bottles and then end up like having to get rid of them and replace them. So I need, I need water bottles that are going to last. I should probably get some metal water bottles. That would probably be a better thing to do. With Magic the Gathering card packs, we used to weigh them and the heavier ones had more hollows. Yeah, so they used to do that with Pokemon card packs too. Uh, back like I think from gens, generations like one through three or something, uh, people would go through and weigh the packs. And of course the heavier packs would be the ones that had hollows. And sometimes entire boxes were 
were more likely to have hollows in them. So if you got like a heavy box, you'd probably get a lot of hollows. Why would you do that? Janice asked. I don't know. Oh, why would I commit them to not being opened? Um, I, for later, you know, cause you know, I could open them now or I could open them when each card inside is going to be worth a hundred bucks. Or I could save it and sell it by itself for a hundred bucks in like a couple of years. Or it could just sit and I could just be like, look at this thing I have. And that's apparently that's, that's part of the appeal is just having it. Just like, oh yeah, I have one of those. It's not open, but I have one. Like, I don't know. It is what it is. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and work on the other packs. We are down to two packs and I'm just going to pick one. I'm going to pick this one. And I think that it was four to the front, if I remember correctly. Hello to any new people. We are opening Pokemon card packs. Just listen. I just love that sound. I know I've said that a hundred times during this stream, but it hasn't changed. Still love it. All right. One, two, three, four to the front, I think. And I guess we also need to, I keep, I need to remember that we need to look out for dittos, but okay, we're starting with energy. And Candela, is that who that is? Candela. Steelix, love some Steelix. Don't know who this is, Spark. Yep, I haven't played all the Pokemon games, so sorry if I don't know who everybody is. Numel, or N I always thought it was a Numel as a kid, but I think it's supposed to be Numel. I think he doesn't have any feeling. I think he's numb. I don't know. Bulbasaur. Onyx. I'm guessing. Okay, yeah. Oh, this is by barrel. That's not for. That's for by barrel. Interesting. Okay. There's slow poke. I love that art. I really like the. It kind of looks like clay figurines. I like that. Our reverse hollow is on Bulbasaur. Common but cool. Lapras. Very pretty. Very pretty card. I'm really hoping for something like super cool in our last pack. I'm going to open our last pack and card ASMR. <coughs> Excuse me. The air is very dry in here. It is always dry in here. I know that I say that like pretty much every time I stream. But there's, the air in this room is always super dry and I don't know why. I just need to get a humidifier. Okay, four to the front. One, two, three, four. All right, we have water energy. This guy again. I don't know who that is. Chansey. Poopitar. Apom. Bulbasaur. Magikarp. Beetle. Aw, I like this guy. Meltian. Meltian's adorable. I like Meltian. Chansey. Nice reverse hollow. Is this rare? No, it's uncommon. Alright, what's our last card? <gasps> Look at that, guys. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. Melmetal VMAX, dude. I wish that my... Hold on. Can I get it to focus? I don't know if I can. Eh. Whatever. We got an awesome Melmetal VMAX. And I think that that is a perfect time to end this stream. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'll see you next time.